Okay, I'm back again with another quick review. This time on the All Pan Solar Lantern Deluxe. Uh, operates off of a small solar panel, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, but what makes it interesting is that it came with a uh, fluorescent tube, which is uncommon. Usually you'll find these uh, solar lanterns with 20 to 30 LEDs. That will give you somewhere around 40 to 100 lumens, roughly. Um, they're just not as strong as the fluorescent tubes, which is why it was important that I found a solar lantern with a fluorescent tube because these tubes give off maybe between 300 and 350 lumens. It definitely lights up a large size room where you can do specific tasks without having to be close to the light. So what makes this special besides the uh, fluorescent tube also is that it has a spotlight built into the bottom of it or had a spotlight I'll explain that in a second um, and again it comes with the uh, solar panel for charging here's a look at the solar panel uh, has a plastic exterior it is completely waterproof you open it up and there are two polycrystalline Simmons solar cells this is a six volt panel uh, testing with my multimeter shows it puts out nine volts as its maximum voltage and it will charge this lantern uh, with about eight hours worth of good sunlight. Uh, has a pretty long cord to it. Ends with this little barrel plug adapter which plugs into the front of the unit here. Now, uh, like I was mentioning earlier, it had the spotlight setting uh, when I got it, but that no longer works and that's because I removed it because when I got this lantern the battery was toast. Um, you know, I ordered this off of eBay. It was a brand new item, hadn't been opened. Um, the seller hadn't tested the battery, and when I got it, the uh, battery was completely discharged. I let it charge up for three days, and it would not uh, show any type of charge. Took the battery out, it was complete toast. Got zero volts on the multimeter. Contacted the seller, and he just gave me a refund right out. He didn't want me to send the lantern back. Uh, he didn't have any more of them uh, for sale, so he just gave me a refund uh, instead of having me uh, having to pay to ship this back, which would have been uh, paying more for the item, uh, paying the original shipping as well as shipping it back. So he just refunded me my money. Uh, I did have some extra 6-volt batteries laying around. Uh, they were larger than the stock battery, so they wouldn't fit in the stock battery compartment. So what I did was... I remove the uh, spotlight function which would have been in the bottom here and in place of it I now have a, a pretty large 6 volt lead acid battery and even though I lost the spotlight you know it wasn't really bright anyway uh, it was just a little flashlight bulb and an incandescent bulb at that so I probably wasn't going to use it but this way I get uh, a lot longer battery life with the larger 4 amp hour battery versus the 3.2 amp hour battery uh, that f fit in this little compartment uh, right here. So it works now. Uh, everything charges correctly off of solar. I have charged this um, you know, a couple of times off of solar and it seems to do a pretty good job. Uh, in fact, that's uh, what this light is running off of now. It's just energy that I collected from the sun. Uh, it also came with a 7 volt AC adapter which works quite well. I have used that a couple of times before and again a really great bright lantern. I uh, do have some lighting demos of this. Uh, probably be playing them as I speak. Uh, really bright lantern. Uh, has about a three to four hour run time and that's with the uh, new battery. Well new used battery since I did recycle this from one of my other uh, spotlights but has a pretty good runtime uh, for what it is and again it puts out very good light with the fluorescent tube. So that's just a quick review on the All Pan Solar Lantern Deluxe. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys later. Peace.